And I ain't saying that Obama's Jesus, but for many of his followers, he is. He is the chief lawgiver of the United States of America, so to speak. He's the Moses of our time. You know how you felt on 9-11? Yeah, that's how we feel when it comes to race. You were surprised that black people don't throw bananas at each other or swing from trees. A symbolic Jew has invited a metaphoric Hitler to commit Holocaust and genocide upon his own people. Then they're re-raped, right. they're re-traumatized right. again, verbally. What Mark Cuban is doing is HIV. What Donald Sterling is doing is AIDS. Don't call it a comeback. We've been here for years. But the reality is, the reality is, the reality is interpreted and interpolated. The reality is victimized and vilified. The reality is demonized and stigmatized. So the reality is treasonous and treacherous. The reality is riotous or rebellious. The reality is emulated or even imitated. The reality is consistently and systematically. The reality is fabricated and generated. The reality is enchained and entombed. The reality is anthropology of recovery. The reality is it becomes exacerbatory. It doesn't become revelatory. The, the reality is 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 this, Martin. Don't Professor deploy Dyson. the very uh, principles of white privilege to silence a black oh, man on the panel because you don't want to talk okay. about race. All right, so so be quiet.